What's good everyone, it's your boy, your dig, 4 eyes, 2 G's here, and today we're here to talk about Lil Uzi Vert and Jack Harlow. I assume most of you will know who Uzi is, but some of you may not be familiar with Harlow. On my life, there was nights when the sounds were clear. On my life, there was nights I was having fears. On my life, I ain't no bright times near. You scared bounce from here, you scared bounce from here, and you scared bounce from here. You still look right at me, they ain't even. So Harlow is an up and coming artist from Louisville and has been on the grind for a minute. A few years ago he would be discovered and taken in by DJ Drama which led to him signing to the Generation Now label. Which of course is exactly what happened with Lil Uzi as well who was also taken in by Drama and signed to the very same label. So off the rip there already must have been a bit of a weird dynamic between Uzi and Harlow because Jack is the new kid joining the team and now instead of Uzi being the only artist Drama and Cannon are focusing on they've got this fresh face to make into a star as well. Well. And before we go any further, it's important to remind everyone about the ongoing Uzi drama canon label drama. This is important to keep in mind throughout this entire saga because this layer really contextualizes what happened next. So the first initiation of any sort of bad blood or what have you between them would be from Jack. Jack posted a photo of him and drama on the gram with the caption, just sign my soul away, double tap if you can't wait for eternal to take. This would be a bit of a light hearted joke, poking fun at the long enduring wait for eternal to take and with drama in this photo and with that caption, within the context of the Uzi and Drama beef, Uzi could have definitely taken this as a bit of a cheap shot and taken offense over it. Harlow went on to say in his No Jumper interview that it wasn't meant to be a serious, serious shot, but in the midst of everybody hating on Drama for all the headlines surrounding EA and Uzi, that he wanted to show that he was rocking with Drama and standing next to him. Uzi would swiftly respond to the shot, take into Instagram and edit in a photo of Jack, put in a clown emoji over his face and add in the text free Uzi, referencing the free Uzi song and movement that was going on at the time. Nothing much else needs to be said about this, it's pretty self explanatory what Uzi was saying here. However, also in the No Jumper interview, Harlow went on to say that at this time there were a lot of Uzi fans who were going at him over this and blowing up his DMs. He even thought about dropping a diss track but decided not to do one in the end. But it seems that rather than drop a fully fledged diss song all out at Uzi, he has gone the more subdued approach and just sent a couple subliminals that were in his most recent music video, What's Poppin' courtesy of Lyrical Lemonade and Cole Bennett, saying quote, Lil boys trying to diss on the gram, I can't switch on the fam. And before we break down these bars right here, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Cloudy Skies from Instagram, really good Instagram page for hip hop news and all that. If you guys don't follow the page, make sure to check it out. Also make sure to follow your boy on Instagram, at your dig, go drop me a follow, you know the vibes. Also remind about my Cardi and Travis merch tees, link in the description. Also make sure that like, subscribe, notification bell, all that good YouTube stuff. But let's get back to it. A lot of fans, myself included, are taking these lines as direct shots at Uzi. Namely because, firstly, it's pretty well known that Uzi is a pretty small figure in terms of his height, so the term Lil Boys would make sense in this case if Harlow was trying to reference Uzi. But also, the I can't switch on the fan part goes back to Harlow siding and rocking with drama throughout this whole Uzi drama label situation. Again, reinforcing that despite what the public, what the fans, what Uzi has to say about drama, that he is still riding with him and going to stick it out regardless. And I guess now with Jack kind of responding and putting a subtle little diss out there, the ball is now in Uzi's court and it'd be interesting to see if he responds from here. I feel like he probably won't. Uzi's energy as of late seems to be not even in the realm of negativity and is too positive to do an all out diss song. Plus, Uzi has to know that anything he does say about Harlow is just going to put more shine and attention onto him and Uzi really has nothing to gain out of it. Harlow even said that out of that IG post about Eternal Take, he gained 30,000 followers. And again, with this little diss here, if it does start to get attention and make headlines, he'll probably get more notoriety again. But what do you guys think about this? Are you guys riding with Jack? Are you guys riding with Uzi? Do you think Jack is dissing Uzi and all that? Let me know in the comments below. But that's been your boy, your dig. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow your boy on Instagram, at your dig, and turn on those notifications. Also, there are more videos of mine on screen right now. Do make sure to check them out if you haven't.